Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I am coming at you in a different location with all of my friends. Uh, just because I felt like it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling like having a, a lazy Sunday today, so that's what we're doing. And also today, uh, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 discoveries of mine that are like weight loss, calorie friendly, um, just things that I found in 2020 that I really think are going to help me get to my 2021 goals. Because yes, I did gain like 20 pounds in 2020 and I am not really ashamed to admit that it's, it's, it happened. So yeah, there's that. Um, but I do feel like with the help of my registered dietitian and all of that, I, I do feel like I have the tools and the knowledge that I need to uh, achieve my ultimate 2021 goal, which is to get below 200 pounds again. And I really do think that these 10 things that I discovered more towards the end of 2020 uh, will help me get there. And so I want to share them with you for anybody who might be interested. And I'm also doing a giveaway, which I will give all of the details about at the end of the video. So just stick around. It'll be fun. I promise. Um, I actually don't have, well, I have like, oh, I think this is pancake mix. <laughs> Cause I made pancakes. So ignore that. I'm in my jam jams. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't have any of the items here with me right now because they're either like dirty or frozen. So I, yeah, so I'm just going to pop up pictures, uh, of what I'm talking about as I talk about them. Okay. So enough babbling. Let's just get into the video. So my first, I have three like items and then I have seven food things that I'm going to talk about. And to preface this, none of the food things are what one would consider clean eating <laughs> because they are like processed, but I don't really give a shit. They're, it's fine. <laughs> so yeah. So item number one is my mini pancake maker. And this also comes in a mini waffle maker. And the main reason I like this is because I am an idiot and can't make pancakes the normal way. <laughs> um, but also it helps me get like three pancakes out of a serving of mix, which in turn makes me feel like I'm eating something more substantial than like one giant pancake, you know? And I like tricking my brain like that. I don't know if that's healthy, but I like tricking my brain like that. And so yeah, I really love these mini pancake, mini waffle makers that are on Amazon now and in Target now, I think too, that it, they just help me a lot. And I think they would help a lot of people a lot because you can't fuck up a pancake when you're using this thing, which is really nice. <laughs> Item number two, my mini rice cooker. So it's by the same brand that makes the mini pancake maker. <laughs> uh, and it is a mini rice cooker. And I really like this because again, I suck at making rice for whatever reason, like on the stove. Like I just don't know why I can't figure out how to do this properly. So this mini rice maker is really great. It makes about two servings or no, for me it makes, I wanna say it makes like three servings of rice for me. And so it's super nice. I usually, if I'm making something that has rice for lunch, I will, because I work from home right now, I will start my rice like 30 minutes before I'm about to eat and I can just leave it in this thing for that amount of time and not have to like tend to it, <laughs> which is really nice. Um, and I can cook it while I'm still working. And then once it's done, that's when I take my lunch break. And so rice is a really great carb choice for weight loss and healthy eating and so this mini rice cooker has helped me so much <laughs> and this is kind of a twofer my third one it's simple modern tumblers with benefiber i discovered benefiber when i did my vsg like pouch reset 
thing and I still use it. Um, I have always had an issue getting enough fiber in even before weight loss and um, Benefiber is by far the best fiber supplement I have tried um, because it does not taste like anything and it doesn't make your water or whatever liquid you put it in chalky and I love it. It is kind of pricey. It's like $22 for like the big tub of it but I genuinely think it's worth it. It helps me get my fiber intake uh, pretty much every day and yeah and then the Simple Modern tumblers I obviously love those things. They are pretty much the same as Hydro Flasks and they're way cheaper <laughs> and they have a straw so yeah which like bariatric people I know you're always told you're not supposed to drink through a straw but I never stopped drinking through straws so Moving into the food items, as I said uh, earlier, these are not at all clean eating things. When I started losing weight seriously, my biggest life hack was making unhealthy food healthy. And by that, I mean finding healthier alternatives to unhealthy food that still tasted like the unhealthy food. <laughs> and I genuinely believe that a lot of these things are like amazing amazing ways to do that and i and i found these like towards the end of 2020 and so i feel like i have these tools i'm going to keep finding stuff but like these are some really quality options for that little hack because that's like Truly the success for me, <laughs> or truly the key to success for me, was finding healthy foods that still tasted unhealthy. <laughs> and I don't know if that's healthy for the brain or not, but it helped me lose weight, so... Yep. <laughs> uh, so the first thing are the Kala Power Chicken Tenders. And these come, I believe, in plain and buffalo flavored. I've never had the buffalo flavored ones because I cannot find them. But the plain ones are the bomb. They taste just like normal chicken tenders. Like, and I don't know what the secret sauce is in these things, but basically they are chicken tenders, but the breading is made of like cauliflower. So it's like that of like a cauliflower pizza crust. And these things are amazing. <laughs> I usually pair them with, um, if I have like Chick-fil-A sauce, I eat that with them <laughs> or, uh, but I always pair them with like broccoli as well. All these pretty much I pair with like some sort of, um, vegetable just to bulk it up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I love these chicken tenders on that same strain. Uh, the Tyson air fried chicken tenders are also really good. You can't eat as many of them or not, not you can't, it's not, that's a bad way of saying it. <laughs> the serving size is smaller than the cauliflower, cauliflower ones. Um, but they are also very good. They're super crispy and delicious. So are the cauliflower ones. Honestly, I get the Tyson ones when I can't find the cauliflower ones. Um, but yeah, both of them are a little bit on the pricier end for like frozen chicken tenders, but they are a little bit healthier for you. So yeah, number four was the cauliflower chicken tenders. Number five was the Tyson air fried chicken tenders. I really like chicken tenders. <laughs> the sixth thing, which was very much a recent discovery, are the Kroger frozen potato blends. <laughs> I feel like this is such a random video, but, like, I, my mind was blown when I looked at, like, the calorie count for all of these things and, uh, how good they tasted. <laughs> so, yeah. My favorite one is the Potatoes O'Brien because it's potatoes, onions, and peppers, and you literally just, like, put some oil in a skillet and you just let it cook for, like, six minutes, and that's that. Yesterday, I mixed, um like eggs in with it and then I put some cheese on the top and it was a delicious like hearty breakfast and it kept me full for a really really long time. Um, I think these potato things are the best. Uh, I don't really like keeping bags of potatoes around because I don't go through all of them <laughs> and then they get all gross. So I would much prefer 
just keeping like this frozen mixture of potatoes, peppers, and onions in my freezer and heating and heating them up when necessary. And yesterday when I made that egg mixture, I also put like some Cajun seasoning on the potatoes and chef's kiss, amazing. My next discovery, along with my Nespresso machine, because I did get my Nespresso machine in 2020 because my Keurig took a shit, um, along with Nespresso, which in my opinion, Nespresso is better than Keurig. <laughs> uh, I found the magic of the just like investing in really good coffee creamers and also getting the uh, Tarani syrups because you can flavor a plate a black cup of coffee with like two tablespoons of creamer and two tablespoons of creamer is like 50 calories maybe 80 still it's a lot less than ordering a drink from starbucks and so what i do is i make my coffee and then i got the nespresso thing that has the um the little like milk frother thingy but you can also just get like a tiny one off of amazon and it's a lot cheaper um but i froth my milk and my creamer together and then i will add like caramel syrup or something on or in the black coffee and it's really good i think it makes the entire drink like 100 calories or something like that, which compared to like a grande Starbucks drink, which averages like 350 calories, uh, I will take this any day and it's a lot cheaper. So yeah, that was another big life hack for me was just investing in good coffee creamer and good coffee syrups if you are a fancy coffee drinker. <laughs> the last three items, which have been my three top discoveries recently. Number eight are the Ling Ling Pot Stickers, and you can get these at any grocery store. You can even get them at Target. I get the chicken and vegetable ones, and you can have five of them for, I believe, like 280 calories. Let me see. So yeah, you can have five of these chicken and vegetable pot stickers for 260 calories. So like, very good. For pot stickers, I eat these when I'm craving. I eat these almost every day for lunch, actually. But if I'm like craving like crappy Chinese food and I don't feel like actually getting the crappy Chinese food, I will eat these. And they are delicious. I eat them just with soy sauce, but they do come with a sauce in the pack. I haven't tried it. I think it's a little, yeah. I just haven't tried it. I just prefer soy sauce. Um, but yeah, these are really good. They are like twelve dollars for a bag but i believe you get like 60 of them <laughs> in there so i'm like eh, i can justify that um but yeah these are one of my favorite finds i eat them for lunch almost every day uh, and i pair them with a half a cup of like low fat cottage cheese and steamed broccoli it's a very weird combination but it's delicious and it's become one of my favorite lunches so yeah editing Megan here. I was gonna put this in the video, but I forgot. Does the, the brand name of these pot stickers remind anyone of this Mitchell Davis video? Like, peak internet 2009 made me want to start a YouTube channel when I was like 13. Anyways. Number nine, Oroville Redenbacher Smart Pop. And I know this is a Greg Doucette thing, but I just didn't try it up until like few months ago and holy shit this stuff is amazing. I get the butter one. The mini bags are the way to go uh, because it's 100 calories per mini bag and so you can have like two for 100 calories and for like microwave popcorn that is a very very good deal. <laughs> um, popcorn has always been a weakness of mine even with a bariatric stomach. I can put back popcorn like nobody's business. And so I needed to find like a healthier alternative to popcorn because like to just normal like microwave popcorn or even like the Boom Chicka Pop stuff too because I can eat a whole bag of that. I'm not even kidding. Um, so I found, I was recommended this by my friend Brock who actually I was just on his podcast uh, last week and I will link that down below. But he's like, dude, you have to try this. And I tried it and holy shit, it's amazing. <laughs> Definitely recommend the fiber uh, 
count is also really good and it is super filling. So I definitely recommend the Orville Renbacher Smart Pop. I have not tried the kettle kind, but the butter kind is amazing. And I saved the best for last because this is my favorite find of all of last year in terms of food. And that is the Kodiak Cakes Dark Chocolate Pancake and Waffle Mix. Guys, I when I tell you I look forward to eating this every single day, I look forward to eating this every single day. <laughs> this stuff is amazing and it's Kodiak brand so the protein is there which is just an added bonus. A serving of it is 190 calories. It's awesome. It's dark chocolate pancake mix. It has little chocolate chips in it. It's the best. And the way I eat it is I put, um, I spread out about a tablespoon of peanut butter on all three. So I measure that out in three teaspoons because I think nut butter is something that like if you're trying to lose weight, you should measure. I'm not usually a huge proponent of measuring things because I think that can get pretty obsessive but nut butter can you can overeat on that really easily so I do I can pretty much eyeball it now but I did um, measure it out to begin with and so I measure it like a teaspoon per pancake anyways a tablespoon of peanut butter over all three pancakes because you can make three with the mini waffle maker or the mini pancake maker and a little bit of maple syrup it like, I can't, I don't even know, like, I love it. I love it. That's all I can say about it. Go try it. It's so good. And I've heard now that they have brownie mixes, and I am intrigued. So that's definitely going to be tried pretty soon here, too. Um, anything that, like, tastes like chocolate that's, like, not super high calorie, I'm pretty much going to, like, rave about. And this is definitely one of those things. And, Yeah. So that is, uh, the Kodiak cakes are definitely my top find of 2020, <laughs> which is so, like, it's such a, like, I don't know, it just seems like such a minuscule thing, but when I tell you I love these things and I would marry them if I could, I mean it. Those are my top 10 finds in 2020 that I truly believe are going to help me meet my goals in 2021. And I just wanted to share them with you because I wanted to further my message that you do not need to eat super fancy foods to lose weight. You do not need to do that. You can pair any of these things, well, maybe not the pancakes, <laughs> but you can pair pretty much any of those food items with a vegetable and a protein and be good to go, you know? And I am a firm believer in that. And so I just wanted to share them with you to make things a little less daunting. Um, like I said before, I'm doing a giveaway in this video. I don't have any of it yet because I was literally making my list for this and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing a giveaway <laughs> because I want to help you guys reach your goals this year because I know 2020 really sucked and it really derailed a lot of people, me being one of them. So I totally understand. Um, so yeah, I'm doing a giveaway and in this giveaway, you will be getting a mini waffle maker because the pancake maker is impossible to get right now. So you're getting the mini waffle maker in a red color and you are getting uh, a simple modern 24 ounce tumbler and you're getting it in the lunar print. I have wanted this for such a long time and I don't have it, but one of you guys is going to get it. So be excited. And then just to top it off, I'm going to get you a box of the Kodiak Cakes dark chocolate mix because it's amazing. <laughs> so yeah. That's what's going to be included in the giveaway. It is open worldwide. Um, I don't want to exclude anybody in it. Um, and yeah, so all you need to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below saying pancakes or waffles, because I know I'm weird because I prefer pancakes. I don't know. But and what your 2021 goal is because I want to know and it can be weight loss or not weight loss. I don't care. But yeah, pancakes or waffles, leave a comment down below. This will end uh, next Sunday, so January 24th. Um, but a disclaimer, I did just order this stuff and a lot of it isn't in stock until the 27th, so I probably won't get it shipped to the winter until like early February. 
just a disclaimer. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys so much as always for being here. I really, really appreciate it. I love you all so much. Stay kind to yourself. Uh, just like relax. I know the world's really weird right now, especially for us in the United States. Um, but yeah, be kind to yourself and I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one.